I am so excited to be here at MAGFest. It's always been a dream to come here and uh, be at MAGFest. Uh, I achieved uh, another dream recently. Uh, I tried out to become a professional wrestler. Yeah. Nobody cares because this joke goes on for a while. <laughs> Real important that you're on board. <laughs> but I've been a nerd all my life, and uh, hence the shirt. And uh, they had a, a, a challenge, and the winner got a scholarship at a pro wrestling school. And I was like, wow, my self-esteem's been somewhere around normal. <laughs> Time to knock that down a few pegs and try to be a wrestler. <laughs> and then I walked in, and they're like, just so you know, made the biggest step by being here. And we're not looking for the strongest. We're not looking for the fastest. We're looking for the toughest guy in here. I was like, okay, I can be tough. I can do this. And it's like, all right, let's do this. Jumping jacks, do jumping jacks. Now push-ups, push-ups. I'm like, oh, athlete. You want an athlete is what you want. <laughs> There's never been someone that did like 100 push-ups out of pure toughness. No, you gotta be an athlete. Like, I've never seen a cowboy movie where someone walks in like, hey, I'm the toughest cowboy to ever strap on a pair of spurs. And if you don't believe me, we can go outside and run wind sprints and see who falls over first. <laughs> it never happened. Uh, so I decided to give it my all, and I tried my best. And I wasn't in the best shape, but I tried. And uh, at the end, they came out and they said, congratulations. Uh, Noah Houlihan, you have won. That's me. I never introduced myself. <laughs> I'm Noah Houlihan. I'm the star of this story. <laughs> Noah Houlihan, we'd like to invite you to wrestling training. And it was the first time I had ever won a sport of any kind. So I didn't know what to do. Uh, so I just cried. <laughs> and not like that cool, like, one tear, like... <laughs> So it was full on. <laughs> I'm the toughest. I'm the toughest. <laughs> so I've been doing uh, I've been doing wrestling training, and uh, I, I was lucky enough to have my first match recently. And uh, what happened was we got into the ring, and we were supposed to lock up. That's how you start. And I did it wrong. So he punched me in the face. <laughs> and I got a concussion. That was my first match. <laughs> like, like to, if you're not a wrestling fan, to put that into perspective, you know how in a football game, they start with a kickoff? Uh, I got a concussion during the coin flip to figure out which team <laughs> does it. So I'm a big gamer as well. Uh, I've been playing uh, The Last Guardian. You guys been playing The Last Guardian? <laughs> couple, a couple of you? I won't spoil it for you, because nothing happens in that game. <laughs> nothing at all. I don't know what went wrong with this game, but nothing happens. Because I don't understand how they made this game, because you play as a small boy who looks less realistic than the giant puppy dragon that follows you around. <laughs> You're just some like weird animated character, like you're Roger Rabbit running around. <laughs> it's bad, it's not a, it's not a very good game. Uh, my favorite game is, is probably Bioshock Infinite, if I had to make a choice, a couple of you. And like, I didn't want to go in there with any like ideas of what the game was, so I tried like not to read any reviews or anything like that. So when I got Bioshock Infinite, I was so excited, and I put it in, and it was crazy racist. <laughs> like, crazy racist. And I was like, whoa, I'm not ready for this. So I did what every good gamer does when they're upset about a thing. I went and I complained about it on the internet. This is crazy racist, what's going on? And everyone fired back at me with, hey, they're just trying to be historically accurate. <laughs> okay. You know the game takes place in like a magical flying city in the sky, right? <laughs> I think they gave up on historically accurate. That would be like if I went to a renaissance fair and as soon as I walked in, they just blew the plague in your face. <laughs> 
I'm not just trying to be historically accurate. No, you're not. Doctor Who's over there. And I just bought a $9 iced tea. This is not... Stupid. Uh, you guys Pokemon fans? You said desperate for it. Take your applause. I love Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon Go, which has been absolutely fantastic. What team did you guys pick? Valor! Hey, hey, hey. All right, who picked, who picked Valor? All right, who picked Mystic? And who picked Hufflepuff? We're a useless team, it's awesome. I went Team Hufflepuff, it's great. Actually, I, I, I was Hufflepuff for a while, I was Team Spark, and then I decided to go Team Rocket. So now I just, I just run around stealing other people's phones. It's a great team. Ha, we got it! Password protected. Mm. Just trying to steal that holiday Pikachu. Uh, and I'm upset that uh, we can't complete the Pokedex yet, that there's all these missing Pokemon, because there, there are too many Pokemon. How, how many Pokemon are there now? That's, that's perfect. I asked and I got, eh, yeah. a lot. See, we started with 150, 151, but we started with 150, and that was too many. So when I played Pokemon, what I did was I took the six least used Pokemon, and that was my six, and I became a renegade Pokemon trainer. First out the gate, far-fetched. Boom! Yeah. Know what far-fetched power is? He eats onions all day and tastes good. That's, that's all he does. And the thing about it is, this is the first time I really thought about it, uh, they're eating the Pokemon. Never thought about that before. In the cartoon, I see them eating meat. There's no animals. They're eating the Pokemon. And in the Pokemon world, you can't be a vegetarian because the vegetables are also Pokemon. <laughs> It's a terrible situation. <laughs> Next, uh, I have a, uh, a seal, because that's when they stopped caring about what the names of the Pokemon were. <laughs> so this one's a snake, and we'll call it Ekans. It's snake backwards, it's clever. It's good, it's good, it's good. This one's a bee with a drill, we'll call it bee drill, we're good. This one's a seal. Ah, uh, seal! I'm gonna go home. I wanna go home. It evolves. Dugon, I'm done. How many of these are we doing? Seven hundred, seven hundred, there's too many. Uh, number three is my Eevee. My level 99 Eevee, and he is never evolving ever. He's got headbutt, agility, growl, and tail wag, and that's all he'll ever know. Next, I have a Snorlax, but I hop him up on Red Bull. He just wanders around wide-eyed and confused. Snorlax, you sleep. No! Good boy. You tried, you tried. Uh, and then my final Pokemon, because I really, I took some time and I really dissected Pokemon. And uh, there's like pollution Pokemon, like Grimer and stuff, which means that you can make a Pokemon. So my last Pokemon is just a tank. So I just have a tank. It's like, yeah, this is my Pokemon, Kablammy. That's right, Kablammy. Good boy. Sandshrew uses Fury Swipes. I use Machine Gun. Sandshrew is obliterated. But I guess I'll do some comedy for you guys. I'm so glad to be here at, uh, where are we? At MAGFest. Uh, I'm just, I'm happy that we made it because uh, my GPS is broken. All, yeah, all my GPS knows how to do is search for satellites just endlessly and finds nothing. And if it does that for too long, it freaks out. It's like, um, are we inside? It's like, no, we're not inside. It's okay. Just keep searching. You'll find it. It's good. Uh, what's the date? What's the date? Because that means my GPS just went, did we time travel? It's okay if we did, but you got to tell me. Because you kept it under 88 the whole time, and your car doesn't seem that much bigger on the inside than from the outside. <laughs> and I didn't hear the Ocarina of Time come on the radio, so we shouldn't have. That deserved more. <laughs> know how hard that is? That is a Back to the Future joke, followed by a Doctor Who joke, 
followed by a Legend of Zelda joke in one joke. That's so hard to do. Yeah, that's right. And I explained it to you so you don't have to ask Skynet later. Four, Terminator, boom, killing it. It's going great. Uh, there's a rave at MAGFest, right? I know, because I know like DJ Cutman's here and stuff. And I love, I love going to like the anime raves. They're my favorite. Because the last time I went to one, I heard a dubstep remix of the polka rap. And it was amazing. And I immediately got super into it and realized I still know all the words to the polka rap. <laughs> Like, I could have, like, filled that knowledge in my brain with, like, facts and things that could have gotten me a job. But no, I just want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To beat all the rest? Yeah, that's my cause. Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Rattata, Furo, Pidgey, Sea King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, Vony... Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's still in my brain. Uh, so you guys excited for E3 this year? Good! Right answer. Thank you for answering for the audience. I am so sick of the annual video game lying convention. It is the worst thing. And like Xbox this year super drove me nuts because Xbox came out and just lied to our faces. It was like, yes, Xbox means community where no one is left behind and everyone is respected. <laughs> they brought some white dude who had never played Call of Duty out on stage. I was like, please, play some Call of Duty and tell me how much your mother's respected while you're on there. And then with the Xbox One, they're like, yeah, we got the Xbox One. And then... We have this new thing called Project Scorpio. It's gonna be the most advanced system you have ever seen. We can't show you anything about it, but it's gonna be super advanced, but it will be able to play everything that the Xbox One plays. Well then why, why would I buy that? That doesn't make any sense. That'd be like if MAGFest came out and said, we have special VIP pa passes for you to buy right now. Really? What do they do? Well, they cost more, and... <laughs> you can't have it yet. <laughs> Take your pre-orders. <laughs> uh, so... <sighs> I, I'm, I'm a huge nerd. Uh, I'm wearing my Duck Hunt shirt today. Uh, sometimes uh, I'll wear a Green Lantern shirt uh, because I like the Green Lantern. And uh, people will come up to me and be like, dude, cool shirt. I love Sheldon. Mm. 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 Oh, that, that show is Nerd Blackface. Please don't speak of it in my presence. It's not allowed. If you say that to me, I should be able to punch you. Not allowed. I should grow the ability to punch you. <laughs> I've never thrown a punch, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like this. And it's tough being a nerd because people always want to, like, pick at you for being a nerd. They're like, hey, no, you're one of those nerds, right? Do you like the Star Trek? Do you watch the Star Trek? I'm like, no, I don't watch the Star Trek. I'm not a Trekkie. I'm sorry, I'm not. Oh, I thought you were a nerd. <laughs> I thought you were a nerd is the worst sentence you can say to another human being because all you're doing is forcing me to defend my shitty life. Oh, oh, you thought I was a nerd? Really? Because I own every Star Wars action figure, one in the box, and one to play with, and I didn't lose my virginity till 24. Ha! <laughs> and it's like, I, have a, I have a little niece, and uh, we, we went to an FYE, like the last one that, <laughs> that exists. Went to an FYE, and she's adorable, and she, she grabbed a little... Uh, 
a stuffed animal. And, I, and she came up to me and she was like, Noah, will you buy this for me? I love him. I love him! Will you buy this for me? And it was Sonic the Hedgehog. And I was like, oh, really? You love him? She was like, yes. I love the Smurfs. You don't get to have this, I'm sorry. Put that back. You know what? I'm going to buy it for me. I want to buy it for me. Because I love him. Yeah. You know what? Let me get one to keep in the box and one to play with. There we go. That'll work. And it sucks because, like, everyone thinks I'm going to grow out of being a nerd, and I hate it. They're like, oh, come on. You can grow up and get into football, you know? And I, I've tried, and I hate it. I hate football. I hate it so much. And I think I hate it most because of the announcers. Because the announcers always use the same stupid line, which is whenever something amazing happens, they're like, oh my God, did you see that? It was like a scene from a video game. Really? Are you talking about Madden? Because that's like based off the thing you're watching. <laughs> right? Like, I'd understand if I saw someone, like, ju someone jump on a linebacker's head and then grab a turtle shell and knock seven more guys over. <laughs> and then run into the end zone with three seconds left so fireworks go off. And then a cheerleader runs out and says, I'm sorry, the princess is in another end zone. Then I'd be like, oh my God. You see that? It's like a scene from a video game. The whole part with the turtle shell. You missed it, it was awesome. See, uh, my sport of choice is Dungeons and Dragons. I love Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, basically what Dungeons and Dragons is, is some guy figured out a way to sell kids, pretend. That's it. <laughs> like, oh, what are you kids doing? Using your imagination. Oh, well, you can't do that without this $30 book of rules. <laughs> and then I bought it. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh my God, you mean like I can fire fire out of my fingertips and fight dragons? He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not at a high enough level to pretend that yet. You're going to put in 30, maybe 40 hours of hardcore pretend before you can even think about pretending that. <laughs> and I did. Oh, my God. You should see me on a dungeon crawl. It's like a scene from a football game. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I played a lot of D&D, &D and uh, not once uh, did I sell my soul to the devil like everyone said I would <laughs> because it's the devil's game. And the thing is, like, anytime something nerdy gets popular, they blame it on the devil, which is something I've never understood. Because it's like, oh, Harry Potter teaching kids witchcraft must be the devil. Pokemon teaching kids evolution must be the work of Satan. If that is true, the devil is the biggest nerd in existence. <laughs> which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Because God is this jock who lives in heaven. God has to be a jock. Football players ask him for help, like, all the time. <laughs> and he throws the devil out of heaven into hell, the basement of existence, <laughs> where there's no air conditioning, so it's really hot, and it's bad for his skin, so it gets all red and blotchy. <laughs> and what does he do down there? He, he takes souls through fiddle competitions. Because even though, the guy that, <laughs> even though the devil likes metal, his mom wanted him to play a classical stringed instrument. <laughs> and what does he do with the souls he collects? We don't know. But he keeps the mint in box on display. <laughs> Never wanted to see. Because if there's someone that hates nerds, it's God. I'm sorry, he hates us. <laughs> he has to hate us because I've noticed that any time one of our heroes dies and goes to heaven, God just brings them back and they're alive again. That's just what happens. So in my mind in heaven, they're just all driving God crazy. So he's just up there like, Superman, put down that rock. That's the rock that's so big that even I can't move it. I made it to make a point. You need to do that. Batman, stop lurking. There's no shadows here. It's heaven. You're with your parents. Just chill. Jeez. Goku, where have you been? Did you leave again? You can't, you know what? 
all of you out of here. You're all going back to Earth. That's it. You're all going. Eris, you stay. Eris, you stay right here. But the rest of you back to Earth. And God defeated sits down, puts his face in his hands. And an old man walks over to him and says, it's okay, God. But with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Guys, like, I know Uncle Ben. That's why I'll never send you back. And Ben's like, yeah, that's what you said to Bucky. Oh, oh comic slam! Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm a teacher when I'm not doing this, uh, and I don't do this very often, so I'm mostly teaching. And uh, if you, you're curious what it's like uh, to go from the, the student side of things uh, to the teacher side of things, uh, it is the exact same high school bullshit. Like before there were nerds and there were jocks, now there are English teachers and gym teachers and it's the same crap. I get bullied all the time. I was sitting in the teacher's lounge and I saw this gym teacher and like we made eye contact and he was like, oh, I'm gonna mess this guy's day up. And he was looking at me like a raptor, like, oh. This is a fresh meal. And then I got attacked, not by him, but from the sides, <laughs> from the two other gym teachers. I didn't even know we're there. And they come up to me and they're like, oh, hey, hey Noah, you excited for football? You excited for football? And I'm like, no, I just did like a whole joke about that. I'm not excited for football. You were there when I tried to add Harry Potter to the curriculum, you know. I'm not into this. He's like, man, you don't get it. You don't get it. There is nothing like the excitement I feel on game day when I see my team go out there. And I was like, you know what? I do get that. That's the same feeling I get every time a new Spider-Man movie comes out. The only difference is there's never a time where I go see Spider-Man and he just gets his ass kicked for three hours straight. <laughs> and then we all just leave the theater going, ah, better luck next year. <laughs> Guess it's a rebuilding year for Spider-Man. And he was like, man, you don't get it. You don't get it. He's a gym teacher. He knows like eight words. You don't get it. <laughs> just don't get it. When I'm sitting there and I see my team win, and I'm cheering them on, oh, it's like I'm part of the team. So every time they go out there and they win, it's like I win. And I got to look this person straight in the eyes and say something I thought I would never get to say to another human being. I got to look at them and say, shut up, you stupid nerd. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You're gonna tell me every time they win, you win, and I need to go outside more? Shut up, you stupid nerd. You mean to tell me every Sunday you put on an authentic jersey so you can cheer your team on? No, 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 you're not a fan, you're a cosplayer. Shut up, you stupid nerd. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me you take statistics from football games and play imaginary football games on the internet? No, 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 that's not fantasy football. That's fan fiction. Shut up, you stupid nerd. <laughs> now in retrospect, <laughs> that might have been an overreaction to a guy who was just trying to explain why he likes a thing. Uh, and I realized that's what bullying is. There was a thing that he likes. I didn't understand it, so I yelled at him. And it felt amazing. Oh my God, guys. If you ever get a chance to bully someone, don't do it, but do it. It feels so good. Oh God, it felt amazing. I felt like I could give myself a high five after that. But then I'd explode. Time cop, that's five, amazing. Standing ovation. This was the opposite of a standing ovation. That is sitting confusion. It's the opposite of what I wanted. Cause, cause now I have to go, cause I ruined my voice screaming. 
Guys, thank you so much. My name's Noah Olihan. Uh, be sure to check out the new website, plus2comedy.net, and also the Plus2Comedy podcast. I do it with Will. 